I love stocks. Tonight's video, we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to put my trend, extended trend lines on a chart. I've had a lot of people ask me how to do it, so I'm going to redo a video and update it, and we're going to get started. When I'm talking about my extended trend lines, I'm going to pull up the SPY chart. I'm talking about these little blue fellas right here where the price is on the end of them. So that's how we're going to, we're going to figure out how to put these on, on the Thinkorswim Ameritrade platform. So what you first want to do, and I'm going to go to a clean, fresh chart. The chart that I'm using right now is called a TTM squeeze. And with a TTM squeeze, I have my three moving averages on here. I have my 200 EMA, my 34, and my 9 EMA. And these are the, the, the most I use for right now in a way. I'm familiar with the SMAs. I used them for many years, and now I'm working with the EMAs. So what I want to do is draw me a trend line. So I'm going to go up here to Drawings. I'm going to go to Drawings Tools. I'm going to hit this little dollar sign. We've got a lot of tools in here that you can use and you can change around. But for right now, we're going to hit this little dollar sign tool. And I'm going to draw me a trend line. And I see a little base up here that I'm going to hit with it. It's going to be at that 440 level. So what I want to do is just left click it once and then left click it again. There you go. It automatically appears. It has the trend line. It has the price of the trend line right here. And if I wanted to draw another one, I'm looking for supports and resistances. So I'm going to see one right down here. I see a little support level here at the 371 area. So I'm going to double click that and draw another trend line. Now what if I ever wanted to erase these trend lines, I just right click it and remove drawing. But for right now, I'm going to put that right back on here again. And we're going to put that trend line in there. Now this is how you set them up. You take your icon, your white little pencil right there, and land it right on top of that line. Then you take and right click it with your mouse, and this window will show up. It'll say Edit Properties. So you move to Edit Properties, and this window will pull up. This is how you, you adjust your trend line. We have a left extension, we have a right extension, show name, do not show, and then show the price. If you wanted to show the price on the left, on the right, or just do not show at all. I prefer it on the left because I don't like to get it mixed up with stocks that are running over here and I can always just glance over here and see if it matches my trend line. So the left extension, you hit it on, you turn it on. That'll bring it all the way to the left. If you don't want to do that, take it off. Same as the right extension. I got them both on, so the next day when I come in here, the line will automatically move over to the right. And then you have the day's date. And then if you ever wanted to change the color of that trend line, hit this icon right down here, and it has a window of colors. And if none of them satisfy you, you can type in hit more. And then you have a whole array of colors that you can hit. Let's say we want to use maybe this orange one right now. We'll click that, or the red one. We'll click that, hit that on here. Do you want to hit the save as default? That will save it every time you go to draw a trend line. And then you have your different styles of, of trend lines that you can do. You have the straight line, you have this line, and then you have that line right there. You can use either three. I personally use the straight line for right now, and I've been using that for a while. If I wanted to change the sizes, you have different widths you can use, one through five. If I wanted to make this blue line a little bit bigger, I'd bring it to a three, and I'd just go ahead and hit, okay, well, let's see, I've got it saved as default, but not right now because I'm not in that default, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now, that red line got bigger, see? That red line got bigger. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to right click that trend line. I left click, open up the edit properties, and I want to change this back to my blue. And I want to change this back to one. I'm going to hit OK. And then the line automatically goes back to that. So that's more or less how you set them up. And you can go in here and always make sure when you're doing this. Let me go back to this. When you're back in here, when you're at properties and you want to keep it the way you do, 
make sure you save that default and then hit OK. And that every time you go in here to draw a trend line, then that default is saved for this, this kind of pattern for, the, for this trend line here. Now, let's say you wanted to maybe just take off the left extension. So we're going to shut that off. We're going to hit save as default and we're going to hit OK. So the next time I go in here, see where it, it stopped right there, where I had that, where I put that trend line in. So if I wanted to draw a trend line, I could draw it right in here, double click twice and it'll automatically stop right there and extend all the way to the right. And I can do that with the other way. I can always extend it to the left. So what I want to do now is I want to go back in here. I want to hit edit properties. I want to turn this back on. Save default. And then it automatically goes back and fills all the way across. So every new day that comes in, that trend line will extend on out to the right. And I want to do the same thing with this one here too. So I'm going to go in here, turn this on, hit default, and OK. There's my extended trend lines. So that's basically how I draw them in. And then when you're wanting to draw in, let's say you want to draw in supports. I was just looking at desk, D-E-S-T, type that in. It was up after hours. And I want to draw me a couple support lines in here. So I see maybe, you know, I see one right in here. I see the bottom of this and the top of that where they kind of meet and they run up again. And so I'm going to draw me a little support level right there. And I'm going to draw another one right there. Every time I draw a line in here that extends on out, your price is over here on the left. And if I ever wanted to erase it, I just go in here, right click, and I could remove that drawing just like that. And if I wanted to clear out all of them, which I don't right now, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You go in here and it says clear drawing set. So if I hit clear drawing set, this window is going to pop down. If you want to clear your drawing set, you just automatically hit yes and you can start fresh all over again. But for right now, I'm going to leave it just like this because I'll be watching the stock tomorrow. And I want to keep these same trend lines that I have on here. And a lot of these are extended from the previous run. So I'm going to still use them same trend lines on the rain, on the, on the run all the way up here. Right now, I think the next resistance is going to be right here at 69. And then I could draw another trend line right in here maybe. Yep, I see a perfect one right there at 73. But I do have a solid red line resistance up here at 77 cents. That's going to be my first hardcore resistance. And then if I can, I'd love to bring it up here to the 96 area. But I have a trend line right here that's going to be a resistance at 93. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Now, if I wanted to change this to red, I right click, hit edit. Go back down here, hit that red line. I'm not saving it as default, because if I do that, the next time I draw a trend line in, it's going to be red. But I want it to stay blue. But for right now, I just want to change this one time, so I'm going to hit OK. And there you go. That red line is now my long resistance that I want to meet, and that's going to be at 93. So if I start to edge up and start getting close to that 93 from the 63, that's a 30 cent gain. I'm willing to take that and I'm willing to take my profit and I probably would sell it maybe at 90 cents or maybe as it started to break that 90 cents, I'd go ahead and get out and not get stuck in it at 93 and catch a knife like you did right here. Because this thing can bounce up and drop right back down. But we did have a big engulfing candle in the close. And that's going to be a good sign. And that's on a 30 minute chart. 30 minute 10 day chart. So that's it for the extended trend line method. I hope you understand and got it well. This is with Toss Think or Swim. And remember, I Love Stocks brought it to you. Please follow us here on the Twitter page. It will bring the link up. Hit that follow button. Also, please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. Vegas and I give aftermarket reports, mostly on a daily basis. And we do one on a weekend. It's called the Sunday edition. And it's more extended. And it talks about what we're going to be watching throughout the week. So, always remember, I love stocks.